Hi, this is Sean coming to you from my very small New York hotel room. Here is your 60 seconds of social media. Is Justin Timberlake bringing MySpace back? Founded in 2003 and acquired by Rupert Murdoch in 2005, the social networking pioneer went from white hot to also ran by 2008. As competitive sites like Facebook and Twitter were able to better balance user friendliness with product development. Since its sale last year, we've wondered how the platform and its latest investor, singer Justin Timberlake, plan to make good on its promise to get back to its music roots. A recently leaked memo showed that MySpace plans to take on music streaming sites Spotify and Pandora in 2013. And just this week, select users were invited to check out the new site, which appears to be mercifully free of terrible animated GIFs. They expect a Pinterest-like vibe, but with side-scrolling and an emphasis on discovering new music. Also touted as a place for artists to connect with fans, it's crucial that the new site first attract big-name talent to actively participate. If that doesn't happen, look for 2013 to be a long, unpleasant year for the beleaguered net legend. And what's the deal with Instagram and Twitter? In this week's All's Fair and Love and Tech, it appears the two heavyweights might be parting ways, as Instagram, newly acquired by Facebook, confirmed it yanked an element of its Twitter photo integration. Hmm, does anyone else remember Mark Zuckerberg assuring users that Instagram would remain connected to other social networks? Ironically, you can stay connected to us at Twitter and like us on Facebook, and see us here next week for 60 Seconds of Social Media.